Hi everybody, this is a design I have for a Retrieve the Data mission. This base is called the Monolith and it focuses on despawning Hus by the game mechanics. But as you can see, they are all getting stuck up the top and because they can't get down, you'll, you'll just see they'll just, they'll just despawn. Like this. So, I hope you like this video and this might be a, a long explanation. Hey everybody, today we're going to be doing this Retrieve the Data mission. Now this Retrieve the Data mission is a normal 140 Retrieve the Data in Twine Peaks. Today we'll be using the Ice King with Lofty Architecture, Power Modulation, Mega Base, Grease to Wheels, Going and Going um, with Banner and Slowfield. Um, in this case, Grease to Wheels and Going and Going aren't absolutely necessary, but will help with the build. Where the balloon gone? So here's, go to the balloon. We have a chest. I want this chest. One piece of tape? You call cool that a chest? We'll get more ham from the spam. So today what we're going to be covering is a base design that I've had for quite a while. It's just been kept secret and not put out. Um, if this video does get out then it means obviously I put it out but um yeah, I've kind of had this for quite quite some time. Uh, it's been debatable about whether to put it out for the community or not. But this is called the Monolith. So this base design is called the Monolith and what it's going to be focusing on doing is it's very similar, as you'll notice, to the structure of the chiller box base. But how this one's going to work is that it's actually going to be despawning the husks by the game mechanics. So we're here at the balloon and what we're going to be doing is just making sure we clear out the entire area. Again this is going to be very much the same sort of shape as the chiller box build. So we will be needing a clear 3x3 with enough space in the terrain to be able to build ramps up to be able to get up the top. Now I've just noticed that there's a, uh, there's a big old dude up there so we're going to um, just take him out. Come here! we're going to do when we get to the base we're just going to be clearing the area and then popping your banner down the banner is just going to make sure you respawn here if any <laughs> any stuff happens like you die like i do when i'm trying to clear the area we'll just uh, edit it out and pretend it never happened but um you're just going to use this to clear the zone So again, getting back on with this build. We're going to do, I'll just build this out of metal and it's going to be exactly the same. And then we're going to be building up again. So it's exactly the same build as the chiller box for the most part, apart from the monolith is going to be different slightly. So the central column is going to be a lot taller. What if I can just build a patrol ward to stop them coming over? Since it's always nice to be able to build without them screwing you up. Now, so you'll see this is very similar. What we're going to do is, again, level this core bit up. This is the only bit you need to level up this time. And we're going to be having these stairs that go up, but this time you can either extend it two up or do like some sort of design just to be able to get you four structures up. Now once we have four structures up, we are going to be putting the pyramids and we're going to do these all the way around. And again, much like the... Oh, okay. And again, much like the chiller box build we're then going to run this round the top so we're going to have flats which just help the structure be more stable and we're going to come across and edit these all into so we're going to edit these all into a giant sort of 
dome, like a giant pyramid above, way above the actual objective. Because this time we're not flinging low down. Now we're just going to be again leveling up the core of this, just making sure that maybe the corners are up like tier two at least. Also, a fun one we can use this time is the dance traps because the dance traps actually have um, these will help keep the. What are they doing? I've got. These things don't work, do they? Patrol wards. They do nothing. Go away. So pesky. Now what we're going to do is hopefully place some dance traps down. These will be going on the outside and we're going to be using four of these. These are really just to help with the beating on the walls so these are actually going to go on the out outside walls not the inside ones the inside ones are going to be the things that are going to be getting beaten so we're not going to risk those going down now I best actually put my base down now so I can start getting back some materials from the recycling and again we're just going to just block this off and maybe this time I might need to put a little side entrance into it so I can actually jump over. Then we're just going to copy this design on each and every side. And we're just going to be building this up so it matches all the way up the top. All the way up to here. Now this is this is where it can get pretty pretty complicated actually because we've got to connect it all the way up to four tiles high so here comes the uh <laughs> the difficult bit of getting it all up there now if you had a ninja in your crew this would also help otherwise you have got the banner to just respawn down there so just get these last walls in once we've got these last two walls in this is it it's this is the monolith it's a four tile high column now something we can do here is before we start trying to place in any traps we can leave one floor as quite a weak floor and what we're going to do is place a bounce trap um, this just makes it easier since we're not playing like a ninja we don't have a ninja on our team if it's just solo this just it will make it a lot easier for you so something we can even do is come around up the top here place a wooden floor and then we're going to place a bounce pad and then switch back to the brick because you want to use these same structure materials so you don't create different variations of thickness in the wall um, as much that will mean they can get stuck on the sides then what we're going to be doing is jumping up and building three pieces above the doors now if you want to make this uh, even even simpler and not try and rely on the balloon we can just do this for each and every side where we just jump around and place these floors and we will just do the same and then we'll just go around and break them afterwards so again place place the uh, the wall and then we just hold it in front of us the jump pads will just get us high enough to place the right height so as long as you look kind of straight on and don't look up you'll place the right height of uh, of structures again switching back to brick and well you have to look slightly down actually because I'm kind of letting go a little bit at the end and we'll place the final bounce pad and this will go here and we again so look down a little bit and yeah that time I just held on to it completely and then what we can do now is go around and break all these bounce pads. It uses up a, it takes a little more effort, sort of, but in the end, in the long run, it's a lot easier doing it this way because the amount of times that it's easier to scuff up if you rely on riding the balloon. You can ride the balloon though if you get used to, used to doing it. It's definitely 
probably way more efficient to do it and it's quite fun to do so as well. Now all we need to do is make sure we have all of these tiered up in the middle and that these are good to go. Now the actual freeze base is going to help us for when they are, we are getting attacked here it will freeze everything in place. So we can just keep spam building. Uh, these dance traps are also going to be helping because they will be just stopping the husks and then the final trap which we need is the impact five impact floor launchers so we're going to be going around and putting one of these on every single side good old no you shouldn't be it as a patrol ward you dumb dumb so i really need to quickly need to get up the top because the game is being big boy dumb dumb right now and what we're going to do is then quickly pop this on the ceiling once we pop this on the top we can do something like put a pyramid on this is all we're going to need and that is that now what we do is we need to go in the middle and actually just spam the heck <laughs> spin around stand on here spin around and we can pop the banner here this makes the structures stronger and all we're going to do is put the slow field and this is going to well I didn't need the slow field now because we have got the banner it was a bit of a waste to be honest but when they actually land on the top you'll see that they can't they can't go anywhere so what they'll end up doing is they'll just despawn so if I go up the top to watch I'll just get some mats do you mind what is it with your little ones do you clikey But as you can see here, they are actually stuck. So if we have a, if we can look through here, I don't think we're gonna be able to. So we might need to heal this up a little bit. Might need to get the floor actually healed. Normally they wouldn't damage the floor before. So I think it would be necessary to actually put this a little bit higher now okay okay that's very odd haven't had that before So what I'll do is I'll get out my Neon Sniper instead of the human and I'll look through the floor you'll see that what they're going to do is they're up here, they're still dancing and they will just despawn flat on that surface I made the mistake of standing up the top which has just caused them to aggro and they're bashing the structures so standing down here we are completely fine and they will just flat out just despawn on the roof I'll do a second run of this so I can get another Video edit of it working properly and me not messing it up by being up the top. But yeah, this is kind of it. And then these are all just going to stay down here and be bitten on these and then get pinged up in the air. So they're all dancing away and woo, up they go. And they should despawn. There we go. They just flat out despawn. Whoa, the bees. <laughs> These are one of me, so yeah, just stand on this uh, little balloon bit. And um, yeah, and also if they do start really beating through the walls, you can just hold your edits and just spin around with max sensitivity, which I might do now um, because I'm going to need it in a second by the looks of it. And what we're going to do is then also heal it I think my base has been destroyed so I'm just gonna put my banner down for a sec to heal up the walls and quickly go down to place slow fill this as well I'm just gonna check my base is down I think it's been destroyed oh okay no it's gone Oh, 
Well, I shall have attempt number two, so I don't muck it up. Hey everybody, here I can... Hey everyone, here you can see that what I have done, I have recreated the same thing that you saw in the previous little clip, but this time I'm still using the pyramid and the floor, but all I've done is made sure that I'm not using the mistake that I put in, which was the second high doors in the walls so you want to make sure you don't put the doors in these walls because yeah it's it's a rare occasion that they seem to, the little ones can land on it so they'll try to maybe break down um for it because they know that they can land on the little ledge it's very rare and i've i've never seen it happen um apart from like that one occasion and maybe one time before when i might be testing but it's it's, it's literally like happened like once and it was just an odd sight to see so yeah just make sure you don't place the doors up here just to make sure that the little ones up the top don't try and break through and just make sure you don't, you don't place any floors here if you place a floor here it'll instantly scuff it because what they'll do is if we watch now they'll start trying to break through the floor above they should but they still aren't that's interesting. So if you give them like a whole floor then. They should really be wanting to break the floor but they're not even doing it. So I guess that doesn't even matter then to be honest. Okay so that's really cool. So literally you don't even have to worry about having the ceiling above the base here. So that's, that's really weird. So what I'm going to do now is actually test out the thing. I'm actually going to put the base above the actual thing up here. So we'll have another little test. And what I'm going to be doing this time is just just edit my way through here quick. And we will place the base here. And then we'll see what will happen. So I've never tried to do it this way before. And hopefully these little ones won't scuff it for me. So now we've got the base there, and now we'll just watch and see what happens. So if we go up the top, we can see what they're going to want to do. Now that there is that raised tile in the center, you can see that they are still just despawning. Lovers aren't very nice at the minute, it's kind of obstruction of you. Move to another spot. So yeah, this is with the base that I've actually placed down one tile above. It's still not affecting it, or it doesn't appear to be affecting it. And they are still despawning. So yeah, I guess the previous clip was just a really rare occasion, only had it happen that one time as far as I can recall so yeah it still works completely fine even though I've got that there so if I actually change where I place the base now if this is working like this it it, re it shouldn't it really honestly shouldn't work like this um, then I can get rid of it so what I will do now is actually get rid of the pyramid and see what happens if we get rid of the pyramid oh wow like major lag there oh gosh wow okay I'm just wondering what would happen if we actually do destroy the pyramid. Will they then see it as an available spot to jump down onto the base? So we'll just go pew, respawn up here. Then we'll just, oh, no, mission ended. So what we're going to be doing in this example is we are going to be placing the base one tile up in here the moment after this balloon is shot down. So as we can see, there is walls four tiles high. So we're going to be doing is putting the banner down here and then quickly running off so we need to just get up the top very quick to be able to put the floor piece down now this is metal that we'll be using 
So if I jump here and we put the wall down here, now what we're going to do is we are going to jump down because we want to be able to test putting the base one tile up. So if we can just make it into this section here. Right, here we go. And then what we're going to do is just place our base. Now this is just going to test off the game mechanics of whether the husks can dive down from um, having, whether it tests whether this they can dive down from the top here when the base is one tile high. So in theory, there is a three tile drop if they break through. So they should want to break through. But still, we can see here what's happening is they are all just standing on the top. Now, I don't actually seem to see any sort of despawning of any kind going on right now. Oh, yep, no, they still are. So this build is completely changing and, okay, this is going to be the new build. So this is kind of cool. So they won't, even, they won't jump down onto that bit there, even though it's, it's something that they should normally do if it wasn't in this location. So here's a smasher up here. Again, this video is just testing the concept of using the base on the first tile up. Oh, you can see the smasher wants to break through. So the smasher actually wants to break through. We'll go downstairs just to check it isn't just us. Actually, no, we need to get a good shot of this. So this is, yeah, so this is with the one tile above the objective where the base is, and you can see they break through. Um, the rest of the house wasn't weren't breaking through, but the smasher did see this as a part to jump down onto, and he did break through to smash it. So on this example, the smasher knew that there was a free tile drop that he could actually smash his way down through the floors to then be able to land safely and be able to smash the walls that were on the bottom around the objective. The rest of the husks, however, funny enough, didn't actually want to break through and seemingly just despawned. However, um, propane and other stuff might also try and blow this floor to be able to break through. Not sure yet though, but as we can see in that clip, these smashers did want to break through the floor. <laughs> 